and we're going to try to test fit everything in the car, get everything lined up exactly where we want it. That way we can put our pedals in the car and start running our brake lines so that we can actually stop. Unimportant, never stop. What's up guys, welcome to the channel uh, or back to the channel or whatever. So anyway, today, I've tried to start this video like three times, but the goal is to run the freaking brake lines. Um, but in order to do that, there's a lot of things we have to do. Here, we have our old OEM pedal assembly, clutch, and brake, and here is our new one. Now, if you'll notice, the master cylinders are actually facing the inside of the car, which creates a problem. Um, so we're gonna reuse this and cut it up and make it custom and do what we need to do there. I'm not too worried about that. What I am worried about, however, we have to make sure everything is laid out correctly. But I do have a new piece which I'm very excited about. It is the harness bar from Techno Toy Tuning, or T3, however you know them by. Honestly, amazing customer service. I had called to ask about an update, and they said, oh, we'll, you know, we'll have it to you in about two to three weeks. We still have to powder coat them and everything like that. And I was like, oh man, that really stinks. And they came through. So, huge shout out to them. If you're ever looking for parts, honestly, I have multiple parts for the Z on this car. Uh, and just look at these welds. So, really good stuff. And honestly, I am digging the look of just the bar with the welds on it. So, I'm just going to throw some clear on it. Because I just asked them to send it out to me and don't worry about the powder coat. And super great and worked with me and sent it out immediately. It was, a, it was awesome. So, huge shout out to those guys. But we're definitely going to clear it because I think it looks so good. So, I'm going to throw some clear on that. But I really need to mock up the driving position. So, we've got our OMP seat and some seat brackets. Huge shout out to Mason. Thank you for those. And we're going to try to test fit everything in the car. Get everything lined up exactly where we want it. That way we can put our pedals in the car and start running our brake lines so that we can actually stop. Unimportant, never stop. Jackie, say hi. Oh, hello there. So as y'all kind of saw, we put the T3 Techno Toy Tuning, whatever, harness bar in the Z. It was actually pretty difficult. It took a while. Um, I'm assuming because the Z is not exactly perfect uh, in square, but now this helps a lot. So it took a while. I had to get Nathan to come out and help. Finally got it on there and everything fits up and it is sturdy. The next part, which I haven't decided if I want to do tonight, it's getting a little late and I got work in the morning, but um, we're going to put the OEM pedal box back in the car just for fitment. That way I can get my seat lined up exactly where I want it. All right, it is a new day. As you can tell from the beard, it's been about a week since I got to be able to come out here because, well, life. Um, we've got our pedal box in. So, that's cool. I'm gonna throw a couple more bolts in there, make sure it's uh, straight. Again, it's just for alignment. That ugly thing is not gonna stay in here. Um, and then we're gonna start mocking up the seat rails with our OMP seat, which is up there uh, next to the NRG seat. Such a long story. Uh, we're gonna throw our steering wheel in there and try to get everything placed where I think I'm gonna want it at. Um, make sure everything's good to go, and then we can start cutting up the pedal box cleaning it up, painting it, whatnot, to fit our Willwood pedals. All right, enough talking, let's get to it. what it's it's kind of different and the good thing is even though it's not gonna have rock sli uh, sliders I can always put more cushions back here just in case my buddies want to give it a rip so unlike their cars 
Frankie, Mason, that have seats that don't move. Wink. Anyway. Alright, so I finally finished cutting this thing up. It took a very long time, and I still need to clean up some of the cuts uh, with flap disc, but I'm not too worried about it right now. I really want to make sure that our pedals fit. So the DOM is showing what our steering column, like the worst case scenario for our steering column. The only problem, so this one can actuate just fine, but this one is actually hitting this whole plate right there. Alright guys, so I just finished welding up the pedal box. Um, I didn't show a lot of it on camera mostly because it was extremely frustrating and I just wanted to kind of get it over with because that's not really what this video is about. It's about running the brake lines. Um, but you can see from this B-roll, got some supporting pieces in, made some brackets, got everything on there and it, it is uh, actually really strong. So what we're going to do now is we are going to put it in the car so that I can play with it because it's going to be fun and that way we can go ahead and start seeing exactly where our brake lines are going to go. I am going to have a handbrake in this car that's going to have a separate master. That way we don't have to worry about plumbing it up with all of this. We can just run our lines straight to the back. We're going to go ahead and throw this in the car real quick. So it's mostly put in mostly from these three bolts. Uh, there's another bolt that goes here that we're going to utilize. And then there's plenty of bolts on the firewall that we're also going to use. Um, but just looking at it, I mean, not all the bolts are in. And oh man, you've got to be kidding me. All right, so we have a solution. Uh, it may or may not be a good one, we'll find out. Basically, the problem was on our pedal box here, our master cylinders, as such, here and here, were fine. Um, there's nothing in the way. We could run our remote reservoir. The problem was the third one. There wasn't enough space there, and we were gonna run into a world of issues, but we ended up just mounting it upside down. We didn't find anything online that said that this is a bad idea. <laughs> Other than the fact that it's going to be difficult to bleed. Alright, I'm stoked on this. Let's put this thing together. I'll probably time lapse it, I guess. I don't know. Is this stuff y'all like to see or do you just like to see the end? Let me know down in the comments. By the way, if you haven't yet, make sure to follow me on Instagram. All of this I've been posting on Instagram. So give me a follow there. And if you don't mind, go ahead and hit subscribe. That will do me a huge favor. I'm trying to hit a thousand sub subs by the end of this year. Uh, I think it's plenty obtainable, especially with all the cool stuff we got coming. So... Thanks, and let's keep on going with this. All right, guys, so it's literally taken me all day, but the pedals are in. They're a good spot for where we want our seat at in comparison to the steering wheel. All right, guys, so it's been a couple of days. I don't know exactly where I left the video off at, but I think it was getting all of this mounted up. Anyway, I have run a brake line off camera, learned how to do flares, all that good stuff on YouTube. So this is kind of the plan, let me show you. So the plan as of right now is we are running directly out of where our clutch master cylinder used to be. This is the front brake. I wanted to go ahead and tee it off here. So we got one going across and one going down. The other ones are gonna have connection points here. That way, if we ever need to take this piece out, which I think we need to because this is too flimsy for steering, we're not having to disconnect it in the car here. We can disconnect it out there. This first one has actually ran pretty well. <laughs> I'm surprised at how good it turned out. And now we're gonna knock out these two, go into the front, and then from there, do the rest of the lines.
All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I know we didn't finish exactly everything, but what we did do is finish running the brake lines. And we've got all of our hard lines done out to our uh, soft lines, stainless steel lines, whatever, you know, run to our calipers. So everything's set up, ready to go. The one thing we didn't get to do was put our remote reservoir in. So I'll probably just do that off camera. It's more fabrication, what a surprise. Get that thing on there and bled. Um, if you want to see how to bleed brakes, especially with the catastrophe I have sitting under the pedals, um, if you want to see that, let me know and I'll shoot a little video over it. If not, we're not going to worry about it. The next thing I want to do is pull the engine out. So that'll be in the next video. That way I can get all the brackets painted and everything like that. We're getting very, very close to starting this thing up for the first time. I think within the next two or three episodes, we'll be able to start this thing up. I hope two or three episodes. <laughs> Maybe four or five, whatever. Thank you all so much for watching till the end. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff, all the YouTuber things that they say at the end. And I will catch you all in the next one.